Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Hi everybody, it's Doreen and welcome back to part two of the video for the wedding card that I had to make. And part one, this is the card that I made for the wedding. And I decided that I wanted to make a matching envelope. So, to make my envelope, I am using the Sweetheart's cartridge. And this is what the envelope looks like. So come on and join me, and I'm going to show you how I made this envelope. Okay, everybody, before we get started and I show you the decorated envelope or how I decorate the envelope, I thought I'd show because I did get a couple people asking me, how do I make my envelopes? Now, I have the Ultimate Crafters Companion that does come with the envelope feature on it, but I predominantly use the enveloper, which I purchased first which is also by Crafters Companion. And then on their website, um, which is www.crafterscompanion.com, there is a link for sizes that you can cut your envelopes. So this is what I use. And excuse me for the glare. What I'm going to do is take this out so you don't see that glare. So then I basically look at the different... It gives the width, the height and what size you should cut your paper and then which of the score lines you should use for your width and for your height and then what your gluing width is and I pretty much look at the size of my card and base, base my dimensions off of that and in this instance this card measures six and a half by five and there really wasn't an option for something like that size. But I did know that I wanted it to be big enough so that it would close properly because of my embellishments. So what I decided to do was go for the 7 and 7 eighths for the width by 5 and a half. And I'll bring this up so you can see. So that was right there. So then it's telling me that my paper size should be cut at 10 and 3 quarter inches, which is right here. And then it says that I should use for my width, score line F, and for my height, score line G. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, my envelope for the card for the wedding is already. Um, put together so I'm gonna show you real quickly how this is done so the first thing I'm just gonna take this piece of scrap or this piece of paper and this is from the recollections fashionably fashionably chic and this is the one that I've used also for my envelope for the card and I'm just gonna make cut this really quick this is not um, I'll save this envelope for maybe some other card. So it says to cut it at 10 and 3 quarter inches all the way around because you want a 10 and 3 quarter inch square. So I'm going to cut that real quickly. So we'll cut 10 and 3 quarters that way and then 10 and 3 quarters the other way. So now I have my 10 and 3 quarter inch square and I'm ready to start making my envelope. But before I make my envelope, I always take some wax paper and rub it across my paper. This just makes it easier when you're scoring. I don't know why. I learned that when I bought the Crafters Companion. She said, basically, that if you just try running some wax paper over it, it should make your paper easier to score. So now I'm going to bring up my enveloper. And it does come with the scoring tool. And it says that I'm going to use letters F and G. So I'm going to find letter F, which is right here. And let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. 
So there's my letter F right there. So I'm going to go ahead and place my tool and I'm going to score all the way down like so. Now I'm going to rotate my paper this way and I'm going to do letter G. So I'm going to line this up. I'm going to place my tool and letter G and then I'm going to run across like so. So now what I want to do is rotate my paper once again, line it up here in the corner. Let me zoom back. So I'm lining it up in this corner over here. And I'm once again going to do letter F again. And I'm going to score all the way across to letter to the end. And then for the final score, I'm going to flip my page again and score letter G. So now we're done with using the enveloper. So now what we can do is we're going to, when you did your scoring, you're going to see these little X axes here. So I'm going to cut those out like so. And I'm going to cut this one. And then I'm going to cut this one. Now, you can do the same thing with the Martha Stewart scoring scoreboard. It's just I had the enveloper for so long. I used that. And sometimes I use the Martha Stewart. It all depends on which one is closest to me. So I'm going to fold on my fold lines. And so... And then I'm just going to fold this in like this. And then what I use is my quick Scotch quick dry adhesive. And I pretty much make a pinch so I know how far up to take my glue. And of course, my glue is clogged again. If anybody has an idea how to keep this from clogging up, I sure would appreciate them letting me know. Because mine does that all the time. But once it gets going, it doesn't clog up. It's when I'm done for the day and I'm putting it away that it clogs up. So, we'll put that back. And then I just press down. And then, of course, you're going to get some glue oozing out. I just take that and wipe it with my finger. And there you have it. There is my finished envelope. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to work on decorating the envelope that goes with the wedding card. Okay, everybody. So I'm going to bring up the supplies. Well, actually, I'm going to bring up my envelope. And this is what my envelope ended up coming up like. So I decided that I wanted to add some more embellishments to the envelope. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and punched out using my Martha Stewart Iron Gate Punch sorry for that glare and punch the strip all the way across to fit the envelope and this envelope measures seven and a half by five and a half and I wanted to make sure I had enough room to put the card in because of the embellishments that I put on the front of the card so then after I put the gate on or the iron fence I decided to add some embellishments here or I'm sorry some stamps and so what I've stamped out is happy wedding mr. and mrs. and always and forever and these stamps are from this stamp set it's an Inka Dinka Do and it's called wedding and I'm sorry for the glare but they look like this and I stamped those out down here at the bottom. And then I also took the same stamp set and stamped out the set of rings. And then this flourish at the top. So now I'm going to go ahead and add the embellishments that I've made using the Cricut. So what I've done is I've cut out this little car and the little silhouette couple. And I'm going to place that right there. So now this is from the Sweethearts Cartridge. 
and it is on page 65 and it's this one right here so I've cut this one actually I'm sorry I cut the blackout out and then I cut the layers and they were cut at three and a quarter inches so now I'm gonna bring that up on the gypsy so you can see what that looks like so let's go to that cartridge and it is key number 34 and here is the blackout or let me make sure that's the blackout yes that's correct so you hit your blackout key and then key 34 and then I went back and I also cut the layers and key 34 whoops I backspace that out and do that again which looks like this now I did do some hiding and use my hide and contour button when I did this because I wanted the top part to be in white so I hid the couple so in different areas so that I could get the colors of cardstock and the cuts that I want so as I said that was cut at three and a quarter inches so then the other thing that I've gone ahead and done is I did take and I put some bling right here to show the I guess that would be the headlights and then I took it and ran it through my Swiss dots cuddle bug folder which looks like this just to give it a little dimension and I've added the couple so now what I want to do is I've glued that all together but I want to add something else that I've placed on the I want to place here on the back of the car so I've cut out the just married which is also from the sweetheart's cartridge it's on page 65 so we'll bring that up on our gypsy and that is also key number 34 so what you'll do is you'll hit your shift lock and then key 34 and you get the just married and then what you're gonna do is I also went and cut out the piece from the bottom which is the I did the blackout and the shift lock and key 34 so you get that blank sheet there now those were also cut at one and a quarter inches I'm sorry one and a half inches so once I put all that together I then took my stardust stickles and filled it in so it looks like this and then I've taken the hearts and just popped them up so I'm gonna add that on the back of here but before I do that, I'm going to get some dimensionals on the back of here, and then we can add that to the card. Or, I'm sorry, to our little car. So, let me get some dimensionals on here. I'm going to place one in each corner. And then I'm going to place one down here at the bottom and one at the top. Now, I'm not going to put one in the middle. And I'm going to show you why I'm placing one, the, the one down at the bottom. Because what I've done is I've taken some of my polymer clay and I've made some little charms that I'm going to hang from the back of the car. So I've got like a little groom that's supposed to be and then there's a cross and then there's a, a dress for a bride and then there's a wedding cake and I've just taken those and made them with my using the little templates for the polymer clay or a little they're actually like little cookie cutters and punched those out with to the polymer clay and then I heated it and they came out like this so those are gonna go underneath here 
and then sit like that so it looks like they're hanging down the way you sometimes do when you tie cans on the back of a car for someone that's just gotten married. So I decided to add these last and it does cover up the Mr. and Mrs. but that's okay because if they want they can lift that up. So what I want to do is I want to first put my car down on the envelope. So I'm going to get some tape on here everywhere and then we'll place this down. And then we'll add our car, or our just married. So I'm going to try to get this up as high as I can. So it kind of looks like they're driving past the gate or the fence. At least that's the effect that I'm trying to get. And then, before we add that, these, this piece right here, you can cut separately in a different color. And I did do that. But then what I did was I cut it in half because I knew I didn't, it wasn't going to show all the way because of the fact I'm adding the just married right there. So that's supposed to be like the bumper of the car. So I'm going to put these down. And that's cut at three and a quarter inches. It's actually cut the same size as the car. And I'm just going to use my Tombow to get that down there. And get that, butt that up against the headlight. And then we'll glue that down. And then we'll do the other side. We'll get some glue on here. glue this side down and then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll add my just married and my charms so once I have that all added I'll come back with the finished envelope okay everybody so I'm back with the finished envelope so what I've done is I've added my just married and my little charms at the bottom so this is the envelope and here is my card. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.